Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and in today's episode we're going to be spending the next five days out in the woods with our brand new revised survival kit. But before we head out there, let's go ahead and break down the new content of my kit. So the base of this kit is actually going to be a brand new backpack from Outdoor Vitals. This is the Rilo Light 60 liter mountaineering kind of hiking backpack it is freaking amazing actually and why I decided to go with this particular one over a lot of others and swap out for my Kefaru pack is I was truly impressed with the features they were sporting on a backpack like this for a hundred freaking dollars for those of you who follow me on my live stream this is my new fishing rod this is the Black Hawk 2 by Cast King and we also have the Royal Legend of Baitcaster rod on here with some um, P-Line Flora Clear 15 pound test. This is gonna be good for creek fishing and everything. But then on the other side, I have a custom DIY fishing rig, which I may do a video on it if you guys really wanna see it. So if you guys wanna see how I built this rig, it's super freaking simple. So right here on the top of the pack, we have a nice weatherproof zipper with a big, huge pouch. And it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here, but there's actually only two items. First, we've got my whoopee. Gotta stay warm because it's freaking cold out here, here in South Texas. I know, I know, I know. If I come to Colorado, if I come to Maine, if I go, the, it's a lot colder, I get it. But we're only two hours away from the border, so for us, cold is relative. Then, I've got my cold steel shovel. This is my handy dandy bad boy. I had this on my 30 day survival challenge and I absolutely loved it. So now that I'm not doing a silly $100 seven day Walmart survival challenge, I brought this thing back so I could get uh, some serious work done on the fly without looking for a uh, primitive cow rib bone or anything like that. Now this backpack is a top loader, but it has ample storage for other things. Now for me trying to get in this pack, I'm gonna go ahead and unzip these, but it's got a zipper that runs the full length so you can access your stuff from the inside. So if you don't want to top load, you don't have to, but we're gonna actually just dump all the contents and show you what we got. Wham! This is the meat and potatoes on my kit. It's pretty simple overall. This is an empty day pack. This is the Haversack by the Hidden Woodsman in Multicam. You guys saw this on my 30 day survival challenge. You saw this on my three day wilderness adventure when I was alone. But now we're back here for a five day adventure and I'm definitely gonna keep rocking this. We love Malcolm over there, the Hidden Woodsman. Honestly, if you want a day ruck or a Haversack, that's pretty much the place to go get one. Then I've got my Airy 20. This is my underquilt, ultra lightweight kit. It's super, super lightweight. It only weighs like 18, 19 ounces. Doesn't weigh a whole lot at all. Then we've got my Bushwhack tarp, which is I think is the Superfly tarp from Warbot at Hammocks. This is a humongous like 10 by 12 tarp. It's super, super lightweight. Got everything I need to keep me uh, weather protected. It served its purpose for 30 freaking days. It'll definitely should handle, be able to handle five more. And then this is my shelter. This is my hammock with a bug net and ridge line built in. I've got the uh, five or six tent stakes in here. We've got my pillow and that's my complete shelter system. Now we've got my bug out roll from Canadian Preparedness. You guys saw this again on my 30 day survival challenge. However, we did something pretty freaking awesome. And what I did to challenge myself as I'm progressing as an outdoorsman and trying to get better, I actually took out a complete panel. And by doing so, that forced me to bring less gear, less weight, and really focus on priorities instead of just bulking up with a ton of stuff. So this is my new bug out roll setup. Only bringing what you need to make things work and make things happen and keep things going is a lot easier and it cuts down on the weight drastically. About a year ago, it was a 50 pound backpack. It is an 82 liter setup, super crazy heavy. Now it's only a 60 liter setup and this kit is only rocking 36 pounds all in all. Totally full weight, which is freaking amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this top panel right here. We have a brand new flashlight. This is the Wizard Pro by Army Tech. Super excited to actually go and check this thing out. And something you're probably gonna be noticing is you're gonna see a lot of overlay footage and usage footage from our five day trek because we are actually going to give you guys some tiny little sneak peeks at some of the stuff we were doing in our five day challenge so you guys can actually see how all this stuff looks and operates just natively in the wild while we're out there in the bush. Now we have my sharpening implements. This is the Outdoor Edge. This was in my most recommended survival gear from the $30 video that we just aired with the carbide teeth and the fine edge is gonna be able to handle my knives and tools just fine. But since I do have an ax in here, which you're gonna be seeing, it's a brand new ax. We have a sharpening stone, which has a fine and a coarse side from Whiskey River Trading Company. A shout out to them, because they're gonna be sponsoring this event, which is really, really super exciting. Then we have a small toiletry section. We've got uh, camp soap sheets for my hands. We have some shit kits, filled toiletry kits. We have some compressed towels 
um, in there some compressed napkins for toilet paper and then we have in case I run to a situation where my electrolytes get really low I start getting kind of just messed up to try to get me back to true I can rehydrate and I have some you know skin protection weather protection lip balms and acid medications and electrolyte powders so not a whole lot there it's only a five-day trek nothing really should go wrong but in case something does I've got a little bit of help well, we're jumping down here, and this has got to be some of my favorite freaking cordage on the planet. Obviously, we use this on my 30-day survival challenge. This is tarred bank line, 113-pound test. Perfect for setting out extra throw lines, building uh, furniture, and different types of things to make my life a little easier while we're setting up a bushcraft camp, anything like that. It's just awesome. You need a chair, use this stuff. This stuff doesn't stretch, it sticks really well, it ties knots very well, and it's really tough stuff. Then. This is actually my fire kit, and I'm just gonna be uh, transparent. We're gonna be testing out the Gen 3 Fat Rope Stick by Production Anger 51. It's completely new, and new in size, new in look, and it's supposed to be softer, fluffier, easier to mess with. But we have this for visuals, so you guys know exactly what's in here, but this is what we're gonna be using. You're gonna see this thing whole the entire time. It's not gonna get touched. Because we've got our 10, which is a full stick completely broken down beforehand. This is what I suggest people do. You get some fluffy stuff, you get some of the little sticks, you have some of the bigger pieces, and then you have a full bundle. So you can use it as a fuel source, just your tender, a little bit of kindling. It will pretty well rounded setup when you look at it like that, and that should easily, 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 even in an emergency, this right here could last you 30 days. Boom! Now we move forward to this particular section. These are my Wills Lamont gloves. You guys saw this, obviously, in my most recommended kit. I'm bringing some of my most recommended budget gear because, well, it works, and it's not super expensive. Um, so if you you know you break your $12 gloves once you get back from your trip go buy a new pair It's not gonna really hurt you, but these lasted 30 days and they're gonna last well into that So we've got some red eye hog seasoning. This is my camp kitchen set We've got my bear bowl right in here. This is the a new prototype. This is the baby bear bare bones We've got my sprongs so I can dive into my bigger pot then we've got my titanium spork from Tokes. This is freaking amazing. We used this in a 30 day survival challenge and it worked really, really well. Now we're gonna be moving on to hydration and my drinks and all that good stuff. Now, I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I like tea. So I'm not gonna be bringing any calories or any rations with me at all, but I do have some green tea, some black tea, and I have some matcha. But then, and this is the Pro X. This is the first electronic portable water filter that they've created and we're gonna be testing this thing out. I'm really excited to be able to take this and kind of just press a button and let it filter the water for me. It filters at 0 0.01 microns, which is absolutely insane. There's absolutely no bugs in the US that can bypass that. It's freaking sweet. Whew. Well, it's super wet outside and my lenses, my lenses are fogging up, so I apologize. So, first things first, we got the Camp Carver by Council Tool, super freaking epic. And uh, this is a 16 ounce hatchet, American made, super excited. We've got my Silky Big Boy 2000. Then for my main knife, that's gonna do most of the work, we've got the Hellcat from Tope Knives. We're gonna be taking this out on a five day trek before we do any type of review on it, because we wanna make sure this thing is up to snuff. But everything we've ever gotten from Tope Knives is always, always up to snuff, so I have no doubts about that. And then for a big, huge bushwhacker, we've got my little Kukri machete thing. This is the Kook by CRKT, 65 mm steel, black powder coated, kind of a uh, elastomer handle on it. Nice Cordura sheath with a plastic liner on the inside. Super cheap too, it's only like 50 bucks. It chops like a freaking beast. You guys are gonna see that thing do some serious work. And then this last pouch, we just have some handkerchiefs and other stuff like that, but we also have some baits. Got power bait for catfishing, for uh, my traps and all that stuff that we're gonna be utilizing out there. I've got some cat food. 48 cents at Walmart. And then uh, because we have nothing but love for Zachary Fowler, we've got his slingshot that he designed. This is his, we've got the bands on there, and then we have 200 rounds of ammunition from the pocket shot. Well, that just about does it for my five day kit. We're gonna spend the next five days out in the woods. It's gonna be super awesome. We're like I said, we're not bringing any calories. We're bringing less gear 
than we did because like I said, it's all a part of a progression, a part of learning. And what do you guys think of this kit overall? Would this work in your area? Would it not? What would you do differently? What would you do the same? I definitely want you guys to sound off in those comments. Let me know what you guys think of how we're progressing and trying to make ourselves better outdoorsmen. Hopefully this gets you guys excited to go outside and have some fun and kind of just enjoy the outdoors and nature and gain better skills and more skills like we are. I think it's a lot of fun to just get out there, have fun and learn and train and practice. It's just epic. But that is about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.